Hey what's up guys welcome to new video in this video I would like to share a CRUD component that I built on Vue.js using bootstrap view so basically what we need for admin panel is like this kind of table where we perform create action and edit action and delete also we will list some resources so this we need for several other resources as well such as if we need to display role we need exact same functionality so it is easier to build a one CRUD component that will perform all the action and we can just reference that reusable component and get the same functionality in less code this is the admin panel that I am currently working on so basically we are listing list of users we can manage users similarly we can manage roles and permission as well alright so if you want to learn how to build the single page application admin panel I have uh, explained all those on this series Laravel view admin I'll put the link so in first two videos we will we have made the user management system just like this so only difference is I've used uh, this bootstrap view instead of beautify so let's get started so let's create this CRUD component for permissions table so this is not from scratch I have set up some steps like if someone visits this permissions we are hitting this endpoint and we are loading this view so we are using this CRUD table component that I have created so if uh, let's see if if there were no this CRUD component what we actually have to do let's go inside this CRUD table component so we have this create button that you can see here and here we have a simple table alright again these are the components from bootstrap view you can just install using this uh, this command you might don't you might not need this view and bootstrap in if you are on Laravel project so this view and bootstrap will be automatically installed you just need to install this bootstrap view and import that and include it like so in your app.js and use that similarly you can import the bootstrap view CSS file that I have done in app.js resources I mean app.js included bootstrap view and use that that's it so this component I'll retold coming from view router I've set up view router in such a way that if I hit permissions it will wrote this view component again if you are new to this concept you can watch these two videos and you'll understand okay so let's go to our CRUD table component so we got one button to create we got table and we got model where we'll display the form that we need to perform the CRUD actions alright that's what we have we have table we have button to create we have similarly model and inside model we got form that's it so in order to use that component so wherever we need that component we just need to reference let me cut out that so we just need to reference the CRUD table component of course we need to import that component and include it here by the way if I so CRUD table component is in, inside components and all pages are these permission page role page user space so currently we are on permission page and we are importing this CRUD table component so we we just need to reference that table component and pass these parameters like endpoint so endpoint is the API endpoint that you might use to fetch the data and perform the create and edit and delete actions so this is basic uh, resource API that I created if you see on api.php actually all admin related API I have put in admin.php so if you see this inside routes admin.php so we have all API resource endpoint for users roles and permissions so this is the endpoint 
of your API from where you will fetch all the data like these data. So we also need to provide the column name which are the table column name like so name and action in this case that's why and also form field so if our form has one field like name field we just need, need to pass the name and next step is we need to specify the form fields like these fields input fields inside this slot so this input field will be different for each kind of uh, page in user in role space we got different form all right in user space we got different form so to make that CRUD table component reusable we need to we need to allow the users to include their custom form in into this slot input field slot so I've created their input field slots that allow user to and to put their custom form inside that slot so if you go to CRUD table so button will be same for all pages table will also be same and inside model form action is also same and I've put this slot named input fields which we are referencing here again if you are new to this slot concept in Vue.js you can read about slots in Vue documentation so we just reference put one field in our permission page over here yeah that's it all those button component are same and which gives us this component in minimum amount of code we just need one component and custom form fields that are unique to this component that's it All right, so if you want to use this component, I will put that component on GitHub at this location. And you can just pull that component into your project and install Bootstrap View. So make sure you are using Bootstrap View. And after pulling that component, you can just import that and use it like so. You just need to pass three props, one the endpoint, another the columns, that will be table columns and form field and also inside this slot you can specify your form fi input fields that's it all right so let's talk about the this component how it is working and let me explain the code so there is button to create which will trigger the create item method let's see what is going inside create item so create item is just showing the form making model so true which will display this model also it is making edited item so this is uh, like form data all the form field will be stored in this edited item variable so i'm just copying the form fields that we are passing from props so like we are passing this form field from our page to this CRUD table as a props and I am making clone of that form field and assigning to edit item so while we are creating we need unique one okay and then I am creating making this edited index minus one so I am just using that edited index to display new item or edited item in form like uh, in create form i need to show new item and in edit page i need to show edit item so just to detect if i am editing or creating new i use this component sorry this property and i'm displaying that so this computed uh, sorry computed property in the model title all right so so let's talk about edit item so when i hit edit button i'm triggering that edit item similarly if we hit edit button it will trigger the edit item and pass the item that we are editing so this will contain whatever we are editing whole object so let's go to edit item so we are passing item and displaying form and edited index 
So this edited index will be the index of the item in table data. All right. So if you see this table data, this is coming from API. So on created, we are passing the axios. Sorry, we are making the get request to the endpoint, whatever endpoint that we are passing from our parent component. All right. So we are making the request to the parent endpoint and then getting response and assigning all the response data to the table data, which is this data. All right. So, so we got item and then we are finding that item inside table data and getting that index. And also I'm similarly creating this edited item, making the clone of this item and creating new editor item. So the work of create item and edit item is to just display form. In case of edit item, we have to display the autofill. We have to make this autofill. That's why I'm doing like so. So these two will just display form and auto populate data depending on what we are doing. And inside this form, we have this save method. So whenever someone submits the form using submit button, we are triggering this save method. So let's see what's inside save method. Again, we are using this edited index. If the, uh, that is greater than minus one, that means we are editing. We'll do the edit action. Otherwise, we'll do the create action. So in edit action, now we are just pushing that, updating that data in table. Suppose I do no man 33. I'm instantly updating that here by doing the, this. So I'm just assigning that to this table data and item name. And doing the put request to the endpoint with ID of the endpoint and passing the all edited data, form data. Similarly for creating new item, it will display form, new item, submit, it will display instantly. So we are pushing that, that's why it is showing instantly. And after pushing, we need to persist that data on next refresh. That's why we are persisting that to database by sending the post request to the endpoint with all form data. All right, so after saving, we are just closing the form. So inside closing, we are just making model so false, which will close the form. And then we are resetting the form fields and making edited index minus one. Yeah, that's it. So this is a simple reusable CRUD component that I created on Bootstrap View. So if you are using any other framework, any other front end library like Bootstrap View, uh, like Bulma, uh, which is Buify, I guess, and Element UI. So the process will be same. You just need to replace these component with component of your uh, sorry, your library that you are using front end library, whatever front end library you are using, you just need to replace these fields and boom, you got reusable CRUD component that you can do for any other this kind of pages. All right, so I'll put the link of this CRUD table here in description. So hope you guys find this helpful and I'll see you on next video. Bye.